If you've ever wanted AI to write the copy of your website, this is the use case for you. Basically, we're trying to make landing page copy to sell a product. So the first thing we're doing is we're creating a brand voice and persona. Then we're going to create a file that has all our company information. After that, we're going to feed that into a prompt template we're going to create. Then after that, we're going to prompt Zeno for any final changes to the, to the website copy. And just before we even get to, to that part, uh, let's use Zeno to, to get us a business plan. Cool. The system. Okay, cool. Let's do something e-com related. Maybe that makes sense. Um, let's say a bag. I don't know what I mean. Sorry, it's about business and then it's the wrong. But yeah, so basically I'm just prompting Zeno to write the business plan so then we can use that to make the copy. I try to be kind of detailed with, with the demographics because then I think it's gonna be easier to uh, write the copy. Cool, and while we're waiting for that, uh, I'm just gonna start with the persona. And actually, before we write the prompt, it might be a good idea to write a brand voice, just so then when it's writing the copy, it has the personality of the laptop brands that we're trying to sell for. So let's create one. Let's go back to the website. Okay, so the business name is Cycle Style Leather Bags. Cool, I don't, I don't mind that. And by the way, for anyone that doesn't know what Persona is going to do, so basically when Xeno outputs, it's going to have a different style of talking. So uh, this is good for things like website copy, uh, blogs, uh, any marketing uh, material that we want to be in a really consistent style. Um, e yeah, e-commerce. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to ask Xeno again to write the brand Persona for, uh, for me. So uh, what would be a good brand voice mm, okay what would be a good description of a brand voice company yeah and i think it says it here but i think that's why it's, it's really important that you include the dem the demographic in the business plan because this is going to change massively what you want the brand voice to sound like yeah i'll stick with these four so we want it to sound sophisticated yet approachable, active and dynamic, eco-conscious and ethical, practical and inf informative. I think that's a good enough description. I'm gonna paste this in here. Uh, so the brand persona background is actually what's gonna adjust how the persona speaks, but the brand persona description is just more so for you to remember um, which persona it is. To sell cycle style leather bags. Next step. So we can write out the tones ourselves. So as you see, we can choose from this, but I'm actually gonna get it to automatically fill out from the text samples that I gave it. Actually here, we could give it some writing examples for it to copy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Xeno. I'm gonna say, uh, write me a blog post in this style under words. Ideally, you probably don't want all of this that you put in here to be AI generated. It probably makes more sense that you've got your own writing or you've got other writing that you admire in here. But if you're sort of starting fresh or you're not really sure what to do, Zeno has some good jumping off points to create your persona from scratch. And cool. Now the blog post is done. I did not realize that would be so many words. Um, put it in here. I probably should read it first, uh, in all fairness. I trust it. Seems like the same style that we asked for as the embrace the style cycle way where every commute is a statement. Every statement is a stride towards elegant, ethical world. Keep cycling, keep striving, and most of all, keep styling. I actually quite like that. I don't hate it. Would it sell laptop bags? I, I don't know, maybe. Cool, optimistic, inspirational, motivational. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Um, intellectual maybe some of these are pretty similar so maybe i will cut down i feel like a lot of those were pretty similar so i'll do um optimistic intellectual and whimsical product maybe persuasive makes sense because it's uh ecom uh with the reading ease um i'll say easy just because we want to sell products we don't want pe uh, people to be confused same as a uh, sentence length 
I can imagine for website copy, you don't really want it to be too long. So this is active uh, versus passive. Yeah, um, so active versus passive, I always get this mixed up. So active is like more engaging, direct, as it says. Uh, for, for selling a product, I'll say active makes a lot more sense. So we're gonna apply this. Now we have the persona. We are on to step two, which is the file. And actually, we've really got the file here. So actually, we're on step three, and that is to create the prompt template. Templates. Okay, cool. So we're going to create a, te a template. So we're going to call it website copy maker. We're going to make that a little bit less broad. Uh, website landing page copy maker. This is to create copy for website. If anyone's watching any of my other videos about prompting, we're going to start with a role. So this is you are an expert copywriter. Actually, I'm going to say website. I want you to write copy for my landing page. This is the goal. So raw goal format. And then the format, um, your output should include. Okay, cool. You are an expert copywriter. I want you to write copy for my landing page. Your output should include a title and copy for each section, input number of sections. So basically this is where you can input how many sections you want. Maybe you just want three, maybe you want 10, whatever. Here is the information you need to know about my business. And this is where we will add that information we got. Let's test this out. Let's say we want five sections. Actually, no, let's keep it simple. Let's say we want four. Actually, sorry, I'm gonna create the template because I actually wanna test it with the persona. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the persona we uh, we made. We are going to say four sections. We are going to go back to here where we came up with the information about our business. I'm going to copy and paste this. This will be a simpler version. I feel like once we do this version, if you want to use this, I will add this to the marketplace. Um, I'll add the link for this in the description of this video so you can use this one. But I do think there are a couple of ways we can make it a little bit more uh, more complex, but maybe a little bit more in depth as well. Elegant in motion, cycle style leather bags, seamless fusion of luxury and utility. So far, I like it. I can definitely see how the personas had had an effect on it also. I'm glad it choose to include the Italian part. Yeah, really focus on movement. Yeah. Um, um, I think this looks good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna edit the template because I think even though it does look uh, look good, it can be a little bit more customizable. Website, cool. Okay. Okay, and the part I wanna change is I wanna make it so I can say, okay, the ending, so the first section should be a hero. Um, I want it to include um, a hero, a features, a pricing and a CTA. I'll leave that um, optional. Just to explain that a little bit more, I want the sections of the website to include the following. Cool, so what I've added is I've added two things. What I said before about the sections, I'm not gonna explain that again. And I've added the goal of the copy. Ooh. Up in there. But yeah, um, so this is where we put the goal on the website. I think after this, it should be pretty much done. I don't know what else I, I can add to it. Um, if there's anything people want me to go over in particular, maybe like pricing. But even with pricing, I feel like th this gives you a good enough like base where you can either prompt Zeno to change it slightly or you could just go in and like, add the pricing. I feel like with those kind of, kind of things, you do want to double check anyway. So I'm going to make it public. Uh, marketing. Mm. Cool. So let's do this be four sections. What do I want to include? Okay, I want a hero section. Uh, features. Features is features the right word for bags? What was it? Yeah, yeah. Um, features. Um, uh, about us. CTA. And again, like you can leave this blank and it's going to fill it out anyway. Just if you want to be a little bit more depth on that, on what you want it to include. The goal of the website is to sell our bags. Oh, actually, I'm going to change that CTA to our e-com site. Add business information. Okay, cool. And remember again, I've got the persona. 
Um, and yeah, I think it's going to work pretty well. As this is going to be done pretty soon, uh, the next thing, I'm going to go over another use case of mine. But again, as always, if there's anything you want me to go over in particular for your own use case, just let me know and I'm more than happy to go over it. I'd much prefer to be doing something that helps someone else than something that I've just made up. This is looking really good. This is looking really good. Uh, I, I like this a lot. Where elegance meets the streets. I'm not sure if I like that. I think I prefer the first one, but that's an easy change. Hero section, embrace the journey. I like that a lot. Uh, redefine your ride with a luxury of Italian leather and the promise of adventure. So that's a reference to what we put in the business plan. And this is what we talked about within the brand persona. Uh, features designed with your mind. Yep, same thing we put with the business plan, tailored for professionals, luxury, eco-friendly. Uh, about us, peddling and passion. Then uh, CTA, I say arguably alongside the hero, the most important part. Claim your cycle style, explore the collection, find your match. So yeah, points to our e-com site. Personally, I think this came out uh, really well. Um, the last one was good, but I think this one's even better. If anyone has any questions on this, feel free to put it in the, in the chat, but I think I'm done with that. And I will put this again for, for anyone who joined late, I will put this in the Discord, reply to my announcement but for anyone that just wants to search it now it's just called uh website landing page copy maker